You do currently have the most time. points of everyone on the server. I, I, at, oh, yeah. I don't moment, know how least. that is. I am not trying. Well, this one I'll be trying, <laughs> but, like, I am not trying otherwise. Merely the overachiever. <laughs> well, Zink always says that I'm, like, way too fast for my own self, so. <laughs> Last time I did it, and it was fine. Last season. We can do it this time. All right, here we go. You can do it! Woo! Here we go. Darn it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
chorus plants too and this is all the supplies now there's actually more supplies than just this but now you can kind of see the color palette it's, it's a little bit of pink a little bit of brown a little bit of waxed etc etc it's gonna go around here so uh, let's get started I hope you enjoyed those time lapses. It was kind of a hit and miss. Uh, my, my replay mod was acting really weird. I almost thought I had lost all of the recording, but thankfully it came through at the very end. I was able to find out, uh, find the footage and get it done. And as you may have noticed, there's some suspicious looking blocks in here that I did not have before. And before I show you the whole mill, let's go on a little adventure to see how I got those blocks. So, Ocean Monument? Yeah, yeah. You guys want to go raid an Ocean Monument? Or yeah. A few of them with me? I need yeah, some, sure. I need some armor trims. I've never done this before. I am not decked out like you guys are. <laughs> okay. Do we want to do a tactical assault on this thing? <laughs> Oh no, I'm just going in. You're just going in? Oh, we're All just right. eating. Okay. I'm we are just eating. eating. I'm glitching on the boat. I'm glitching on the boat. Oh, got it. Here, I'll get rid of the boat. Oh, that works. All right, Lane's going in. I'm going to get my water breathing in. I'm going to get my nap vision no, no, no. in. Okay, now I have a water bottle. That's, oh. that's fun. <laughs> and I completely oh, forgot oh, to bring man. a uh, shield, so I'm really going in for it. Then. 
I am almost dead already. <laughs> Whoa, really? Nice. Yep. I didn't bring a shield either. Oh, were we supposed to bring shields? Um, that would help. Once you get in there, it's usually pretty easy to, yeah. to like go around a corner or something yeah. to get them to break their line of sight. Yep. Swim, please. Swim, please. Swim, please. There we go. Thing yet. Like, can I get all the stuff? Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so where's your stupid? Hey. Hey, I didn't yay, he didn't give me his. Oh, oh there it is. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Okay, there we go. I got the potato. I got Guardian. I got thing. I got a potato here too. I'm working on it. Anybody found the big eyes yet? Not yet. Working on it. Uh -huh. oh, the toxic thing guy did not give me one. Yeah, I didn't get one either. Do y'all have looting on the Um, floor? Go yes. up to the ceiling. They float to the ceiling and then you can't see them. So you have to go right up to the ceiling. Oh, mm -hmm. I got the achievement. Oh, wait, that might have been the dot. The, yeah, the, I got the, the dot rest dot of this stuff, but it is definitely not up here. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it either. Mine was, but it was like... Oh, okay. I found the big guy. Okay. One of the big guys? Yeah. So what room were you in, E, when you put here? I think it was oh, this You know what? I can do. Um, turn out hitboxes will help you find the yeah, I was looking at water drops. So they, so they float to the ceiling, and then they float above their hitboxes, so they you can't see them in the sky. Okay. That, the, that Elder Guardian did not give me a head either. Yeah. You should. They do Again, not. Check, check around the ceilings. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I am. I have hitboxes on. Yeah, I've got hitboxes on, too. They did not drop. It's all right. Ooh, I found one of the big guys. This is not the way. Which one did you find? One of the, like... I think I'm in the one that's in the top, maybe. The treasure room. All right. I have not found a single sponge room yet. Yeah, me neither. Okay, found the second guy. Oh, found a big boy. Ooh. Yep. Two, two. Here, let me name him. There. Yeah. Get his head. Get his head. Got it! Alright, all three of them are Ooh. done, guys. And there wasn't a, a sponge room. Uh-uh. That is a bummer. He may have gotten Did some you? sponges from... Did anybody get sponges from going in there? I got, a, I I got, got one sponge from I got a singular sponge. Yeah. I'm going in there. Well, I guess I don't really need a gold. I, I have a gold <laughs> farm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wish the little guys would give you sponges and then they would be renewable. All I'd the say, rooms say, that would the... normally have sponges are empty of sponges. Huh. There's a trident guy swinging at me now, too. I, I see uh -oh. that. <laughs> Where? Oh, he's right outside the main entrance. How are you okay, still well, seeing him? Did you get him? Yeah, I got the trident guy. He is unalive. Oh, <laughs> My milk took away my water breathing. Uh oh. Nice. Okay, I'm. Okay, I'm just swimming around in laser beams. Let's just not. Let's not do that. Let's yeah, not I'm do going back to that the, the today. Island. Oh look, it's the boar. We could have gone through the the tunnel to get here. Ah. <laughs> oh, nice. Guess if we want a straight shot yeah, on the way clear. back. As long as our chests aren't full of stuff. Yeah, as long <laughs> right. as our chests aren't full of stuff. Let's full of full of sponges. It, it, they Hopefully. better be. They'll be full they of be. sponges when we give it. 
They better be, because I, I, I swear, if we make it through another Ocean Monument or two and we don't find them, I'm I'm gonna be pretty mad. Yeah, that's insane. Alright, bye! Alright, let's head on down. Oh, oh, the dolphin's grace. Oh, oh gosh. Use it, oh. use it! Sponges! Sponges! Yay! Whoa, wow, that dolphin's right at the front door, isn't he? <laughs> Holy cow, whoa, that dolphin. Alright, well, I know where the sponges I've are. Got the I'm left, uh, I've got the left guy. I'm gonna get him first. Ooh. I can't do anything with this dolphin's grace. <laughs> I can't, I find it so hard to move around when those things give you that effect. And then it doesn't help that we've got Death Strider. Yep. I'm like just stuck in this stupid thing. I can't find my way out of this. Alright, I've got one of the guys down. Alright, I haven't yet to see anymore. And since so I'm in the, uh... I found another sponge room. Since I'm in the uh, the outside perimeter, I'll go around to the other wing and get that one if someone can find the middle one. Okay. Oh, there's I'm the kinda treasure room. I'm kind of stuck in these little dead ends. Oh, here's a here's a guy. No, he's. Oh, I think this is the middle big one. Okay, that'll be good. Kill them. Nice. Uh, sponge. Room. Oh, I got another nice. head from the big guy. Nice. Ooh, nice. All right, so that's the last of the big ones? Yep. Big ones are done. Sweet. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that little romp with MC Oda, Lucky Lane Zero, and Empress Little Bit. I had a ton of fun being able to go get that armor trim, and then we were able to get all of the guardian heads, including some of the specialized ones. And also sponges. So Lane is doing a big project and he needed lots and lots and lots of sponges. So we were able to get those and they do reside. There's actually a rental in the uh, thrift works just like last season so that everybody can borrow those sponges as they needed. We, we had a right, we, we rated five, kind of five different guardian monuments ancient monuments and and only found two with sponges besides killing the the ancient guardian so anyway without further ado here is the flower mill and i'm going to kind of walk around each side let's start with the front so i'm going to come over by the bridge and it may have seemed weird at first why i built this bridge and it's still not 100 percent complete yet why I built it out of the colors that I did, I built those to kind of mesh with the colors up here, but also so that it would contrast this. So if I had done a wooden bridge or I'd done, you know, like mud brick or something, it wouldn't have contrasted as much. So that was the plan for that. And I'm still working on it. I want to tie both of these things in together. But first off, let's take a look at the front of the flower mill you can see there's some gears and things going that would be turning things inside the mill and in a traditional flower f-l-o-u-r mill that would be turning the large grindstone within powered by our paddle wheel um, the water would be brought up a chute or some sort and then it would pour over the mill itself and it's hard to see with the shaders but the water is coming over to turn the wheel. Of course, we don't have like great mod or anything, so we can't actually physically turn the wheel, but we can have a little bit of like smoke kind of looking like steam that the wheel is actually moving. There is actually a little bit of bubbles coming up from where the water is pulling. So I put a little bit of soul sand in there to get this bubbly effect. That kind of gives a little bit of movement to an otherwise very steady, like still 
um, building. Then there's also this crane um, that would be like where they would lift up the materials, whatever materials needed to be able to do stuff inside. So if we come over here, this is the side of the building that was kind of the shortest because I did build it with the, uh, the incline here. And I just added a few of our little flowers in and with the shaders, these the warped and the, the crimson really like pop out and I like that a lot. Let me come over to the back. Um, might move these again. I had them over here and now I'm kind of like debating whether I even want them there. Um, have a little bit of, I don't know, other machinery on the outside, just sort of just I don't I don't even know what it's for. I just thought that the back side here needed something and there is a window upstairs that it has doors here as you can see there's doors but the window seals it off so you can't really get access to that side i might remove the glass at some point i'll show you why here in a second and then on the main entry point that you're going to see as you enter from the portal over there i have kind of like this fireplace it's kind of the smoke exhaust um, pipe that like ventilates um, the inner workings of the mill. There's a little bit of an overhang here. Um, in some older traditional like flour mills and other granaries, you would actually have a place that you could buy the grains and the seeds and stuff like that on the outside. So I actually incorporated that in. So now I have all of my, my colors right in here. And what's cool about them being barrels, of course, is that I can also access them from the inside. Um, have a little bed in here and a little hook to, to hang my worker's jacket, so to speak. Then over here, I have my composter so I can save all my bone meal in here. This is where the flower farm kind of comes in. I put some glass up here to kind of keep the, the seeds and stuff from kind of sitting up on this um, these sides when they're getting pushed out by the water. But they trickle down in here. Right now I have the whole thing set to kind of a moss farm. So that's why you see moss right here instead of just the dirt. And then in here, like more of the flowers get sorted. Now over here I have a little mini pickle farm if I needed to get lime green dye in a hurry. Oda obviously is supplying all of that, but I might need it for myself. So I have my own little pickle farm here. In here you can see where there is actually a redstone line that connects this whole thing up. These are our hopper dispensers for the, the bone meal. But what's cool is we're gonna take take some bone meal here. I'll separate all that out. We're gonna just kind of pop those in half and half in these. And then if I turn this on, you've already seen this work before. It kind of turns on, it floods, it sends the stuff out. So what happens though is this little redstone line kind of lights and it does its thing. And what I did was is that I actually hooked it up to this little lamp. So as it turns on and off, there's a little bit more energy happening here on the front as the light turns on and off. So I can tell from a distance if the whole factory is actually working or not. So if I'm, I forgot and I'm moving around or something and I see that blinking, I know I accidentally left the farm on. <laughs> and it makes a nice little click. <laughs> As it turns on and off, which I like a lot. So, all right, let me turn it off and then show you the upstairs area. So again, this is the, the, the main workings of the whole thing. Pretty much left open. Um, when it's off, I can kind of stop the water from flowing if I want and that just sort of leaves it and then I can change it for grass or moss however I want and then upstairs is a big empty room and you can see all of the blocks so you can see some of the prismarine and the dark prismarine that we got from the ocean monument and just some of the and, and you can see where I accidentally forgot to wax a block apparently so here is all of our beautiful different kinds of locks. There we go. Um, wanted to have this color with the pink kind of meld in with the terracotta. And I like that look a lot. Um, storage 
for now, I have kind of some storage stuff up here, the rocks and some of the wool from the farm over there with the sheep, which I am going to be taking out probably soon. And then this space up here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I think I'm either going to put a little mini sugarcane farm, just a little tiny like seven run um, one and or a pumpkin and melon farm. I'm really thinking about putting in a pumpkin and melon farm to trade with my villagers. Um, just for basic basic needs um i've also thought that maybe these guys could help me out with the masonry aspect for up there so that is kind of kind of a secondary plan here i need to pay them in something and pumpkins and melons would be awesome because i can have a farm completely automated by itself but that is for another day like i think next week next time here on craft force i'm not sure i'm not sure we're gonna either work on the probably work over here and why i left these doors open is so i can fly in and out which is awesome we're probably going to work on this a little bit more and start building up some of the structures. Now, something I did do since Kyler came over is put a nice big wooden beam here to keep it structurally sound. So we'll be able to take down some of the scaffolding and I can start recreating the walls. And then maybe once the walls are up, um, by that point, we'll have some some backup crane help to be able to to put some new logs in in the ceiling and then maybe start working on some of these other areas. I'm again not sure what this whole area was. Anyway, folks, I hope you had a wonderful week. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed all of the the shenanigans and the achievement hunting and all that kind of stuff. I am currently at 71. I am one of the highest if not the highest overachievers <laughs> i am i'm an overachiever um on the server even though i'm not trying too much but yeah yeah yeah, but, but, yeah not trying too much <laughs> and anyway i will see you next week give yourselves a hug from me i love you very very much and i will see you next time bye from the crafter server and also bye from let's Take a leap off that mountain. This is the reason that I like building on a mountaintop so I don't have to use any rockets and we can just kind of fly around our area and look at how beautiful this awesome mill is and how pretty it is in this flower forest. And I think I've decided that we need some custom trees and stuff around here too. So lots to come and I will see you again soon. Oh, and, and, and don't forget to subscribe if you've gotten this far. Woo! All right. <laughs> Bye everyone. Oh, hello Feather. Ooh, hello. Thank ya. Oh, and I, I guess we, <laughs> we need to do Spire. We, we, we're, we're gonna oh, no problem <laughs> well we we better do that first off next time yeah <laughs> all right bye for now